In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can create a cut line around an object in a raster image. First, I'll select the object and I'm going to select Edit Bitmap. What this will do is it's going to launch PhotoPaint and bring the image up into PhotoPaint for me. In there, I'll be able to use the Cutout Lab to cut the dog out of the image. I'm going to maximize my screen and let me just zoom in a bit. I'll go to my image menu down to Cutout Lab. Now the way the Cutout Lab works is I'll use my highlight marker to highlight around the perimeter of my subject. I want to make sure that this is half on and half off my subject. Now although it would be quicker to go around the image if I was using a larger nib, it will give me higher accuracy the smaller the nib. Once I've marked the area that I'm looking for, I use my fill bucket to protect the area that I want to keep. Bottom left hand corner I can click on preview and see how that looks. I have the ability to add more detail or remove detail if I wish. I'm going to remove a little bit of the detail along the front of the mouth. And if by chance I happen to go too close, then I can add detail back into the image. Once I'm happy with this, I'm simply going to click OK. It's going to return me back to PhotoPaint. I'll close PhotoPaint down and answer yes to saving the image. This puts me back into QuailDraw with the image cut out. Now it's time to create the cut line. To do this, I'm going to click on Trace Bitmap. Outline and Clip Art. This will bring it into Power Trace and it's going to allow me to convert this to vector. I'll want to make sure that I have Delete Original Image left unchecked. I also want to have Remove Background selected. I'll click OK to this. I'm now back into Corel Draw with a group of vector objects. Simply go to the Arrange menu, down to Shaping, and boundary. That's going to create a hairline outline around the perimeter of the dog. If I hold the Alt key down, single click on the image, acts as a digger tool, and it digs down and as you can see it's selected the group of objects. Now it's simply a matter of hitting the delete key. I can zoom into this and you'll see that I now have a vector line around the perimeter of my image. Now, of course, I may want to clean up this line a little bit before I go ahead and engrave that, but it's certainly very easy to do. To this point, everything you've seen can be done in CorelDRAW X3 and above. Next, what I'm going to do, I'm going to go under the Shape tool and I'm going to grab Smooth. Here I have the ability of running my brush along the outline, and what that's going to do for me is it's going to drastically reduce the number of nodes in here and smooth these lines out. Another way to accomplish this is I can grab my shape tool and select an area and simply delete the nodes within that area. It's going to allow me to get a much smoother line along the perimeter of this. All right, that's just to give you an idea. And of course, we can change the shape of that line and whatnot, but I'll leave that up to you to do. Thanks for watching and have a great day.